Hey, what's up guys? This is Debarchi, your Autistic Tech Boy, back here with another video. Without further ado, I want to address the events that have been going on for not just the last few weeks or the last few months, but really uh, for the last hundreds of years, basically, regarding police brutality and systematic racism. George Floyd, a man in his 40s, was brutally killed, brutally murdered by cops. And this was just so brutal. He was asking time and time again, hey, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. He called out for his mother. To see that happen to an African-American man, it's just mind-boggling to me. I'm not an African-American, as you guys can probably tell. I don't know what it's like to be an African-American. I will admit that the issues that African-Americans face within society, Asian-Americans, like myself, don't have to face to the same extent. That doesn't mean we don't face racism. We do. We do face racism, for sure. And the model minority myth is definitely just a myth. At the end of the day, we don't have to worry about our lives, for the most part, when we're near police. It just seems like these cases of African Americans getting killed by police brutality keep recurring and occurring and occurring over and over again. So the case of George Floyd, it's sad, it's devastating, but it's nothing new. Let's not forget the names of Michael Brown, Trayvon Martin, Breonna Taylor, and so many other names that just have accumulated over all of these years, all of these lives taken that should not have been taken. And I just wish that my community, the Asian community, could understand better what it's like to feel the way African Americans have to feel in this society. That they have to consistently worry about their own lives and their children's lives. They can't trust the police. There are a lot of unsaid rules that they have to follow that we specifically don't have to worry about. You know, we don't have to care about putting the music on high. We don't have to care about normal daily activities, but my African-American brothers and sisters do have to care about those things. That's just not fair. It's not fair that certain people, because of the color of their skin, would be treated as if they're monsters, as if they're criminals, and um, would be brutally murdered, not just by average citizens, like, say, George Zimmerman, but also by police, like Mr. Chauvin, in this case, with George Floyd. I can't just sit here making tech videos and pretend like this is not an issue. I want to encourage all of you guys to do several things. The first thing that I encourage you to do is vote. Vote out those officials that are doing nothing. Vote not just at the national level. We're not just talking about the president or senators, but also at the state level and at the city level. No matter what color of skin you are, go out and vote. The second thing I want to say is donate to charity. Particularly right now, charities that are concentrated with helping African Americans and helping stop police brutality. Texas Epic is my Christian org and we are hosting a fundraiser for two different organizations. 100% of the proceeds go to either NAACP or We Love Lake Street. I will be releasing the info for both of those organizations, the links to both those organizations below. And uh, if you'd like to help out with this fundraiser, please let us know. Remember, 100% of the proceeds go to these organizations. Plus, um, there will be members of Texas Epic, some of them, who will match the donations that you give. Empathize. It's so easy to be in our little bubble and think that we know everything. To think that, you know, just because I don't deal with cops pulling me over and murdering me, that African Americans shouldn't be dealing with that as well. It is so easy for conservative Asian Americans to think that, for conservative people to think that. But you need to get out of this bubble that we've created ourselves in, that focuses solely on what we know and how we experience life. And we need to reach out to our African-American brothers and sisters and other minorities during this time. The fourth thing I want to say is that we need to reappropriate funds for the police.
police and put those funds into other things. Now, I'm not saying abolish the police. I know there are some people who advocate for that idea. I don't like that idea. I will be flat out and say that. What I do think is important is there's so much money being spent for the police in every single city. What I think we need to do is we need to create educational opportunities. We need to just spend that money on reforming our education system, reforming housing and whatnot. There's so many things that we could be doing with that money to improve our communities. Finally, I believe that we need to really concentrate our efforts on police reform as well. I think that we need to focus our efforts on increasing the education requirements for police. We need to really restructure the training that police officers go through. We need to make sure that systemic racism is covered within that training. Now, this is what I believe. Maybe you have some other idea. And, you know, feel free to explain below in the comments section what you really think about changes that need to be made. This has been Debarshi, you know, your autistic type boy. I really hope this video makes a difference. Thank you. Yeah.